Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and very happy to show you a car that I'm personally really excited about to offer for sale. But first, if we step over here, happy holidays to everybody in the Bring a Trailer community. It's the season, so we have the perfect gift to shove under a Christmas tree. So, I'll start this one by saying I am admittedly biased towards cars like this. I love cars like this. This is what we believe to be a very highly original 1959 Morgan Plus Four Roadster. The car is in excellent mechanical condition and I'll go through some of that. We know that the car was owned and sold by John Bond of Vermont. Uh, it was sold a couple years ago on the Bring a Trailer website, the platform, which Bring a Trailer will also point out with the link. Interested buyers, please take the time and look through the previous auction on this car. John sold it to a fellow I knew, Don Gremmel, who lived down in Hever de Grace, Maryland. I knew Don because he was a vintage racer. And I would see him frequently at the track. Nice guy and his wife, Carol. This was Don's fifth Morgan. So this was his last hurrah. This was always a street Morgan. This was never raced. He raced Morgan separately. But he wanted to do one last Morgan. Sadly, Don passed away earlier this year. So fellow who knew Morgans intimately purchased this car and did extensive work on it. So come on over and take a look at it. First of all, and you'll see in the previous auction, there was a lot of discussion about the origins of the car and the originality. As to the paint, I do not know if it's original paint. It easily could be. Uh, it is older paint. It is not perfect. Uh, the entire car, to me, has a beautiful patina on it, but that's what I favor on these cars. The chrome is very nice. I believe it's all original. There's no marks anywhere. The headlight trim rings have that wonderful polished look to them. They were not redone. There's the turn signal lights on the wings, the mirrors, all of the chrome has a wonderful look to it. When Don bought the car, and again, he raced Morgan, so he was very critical of how they performed. Uh, first thing he did was he pulled the motor out and did a complete engine overhaul on the car. Uh, you'll see in the records, the engine was overhauled before, many years ago, and the displacement was increased slightly. Uh, it appears to be slightly over two liters. Uh, it is the TR3 motor. It is a numbers matching motor. So, and we have photos of all of this, the stamping on the block matches the stamping on the right bonnet hinge point, which is where Morgan puts the numbers. So it's a numbers matching correct car. When the engine was overhauled, and Don just did it, because that's what Don did to his cars, new rings, new bearings. Uh, I know they did a lot of cylinder head work, and the cylinder head was done by one of his race car friends who has a machine shop. The cylinder head received all new valves, all new guides, new hardened seats. Uh, beautifully done work. So it is a fresh motor with effectively maybe 100 miles on it. They, of course, replaced the whole clutch assembly. They also replaced front and rear main seals. It was a, it was a complete teardown. During that process, they replaced the engine motor mounts, trans mounts. So you'll notice in the earlier auction, they were talking about it looked like a 1959 motor mount, which it may or may not have been. All that work has been done and replaced. Earlier, we have receipts of the front end being gone over, tie rod ends all being done. It is a disc brake conversion car. So before Don, the previous owner, someone had put installed disc brakes on the front, professionally done. It does have stainless steel lines on the front. Coming along the side of the car, so this is a car that it is dialed in. Uh, it runs great, the handling is great, uh, it's ready to go, it's ready to be driven. But what's fascinating about it to me, again, whether or not the paint is original, we are led to believe it is. We know that this welting is black, so for this to be black means somebody pulled this fender away, put new welting in, but it's unclear if it's original or not. What I do know is the interior appears to be very original. The leather is beautiful, and if you look down here, these are original Morgan, the tiny little nails they would use where the leather matches. The interior, the leather has just this wonderful feel. There are no cracks or tears. 
but nice, beautiful creases. And I believe all of the transmission tunnel leather is all original Morgan. It's beautifully done. All of the stitching, the binding is just gorgeous in beautiful condition. The wood dash also is excellent. Of note is that all of the knobs are correct. They're all the beautiful white color. Previous auction, they talk about the choke knob not being correct. Clearly, Don took care of that. It now has the proper white choke knob, the cool old headlight switch, of course, the white gauges. Please take a look at our driving video where we test drive the car. Everything is working properly on the car, all four gauges. The engine, of course, has great oil pressure, runs nice and cool. We do have a full tonneau with the car, which is older. I don't think it's original, but looking at this leather triangle, it may be. But it's all this, the zipper works well. We have extensive photographs of all of that. Of course, we have the chrome wire wheels. Coming along the back, same thing. The chrome is very nice. The taillight lenses, beautiful, no cracks, clear, nice looking lenses. The rear bumper, license plate light, the luggage rack, all very, very, it fits the whole car. This car just has a, a wonderful aura around it. Don did replace the original Banjo Brooklyn's wheel with a Mona Lita wood wheel. So that's currently on the car. And it's, I believe it's relatively new. So that's a matter of personal taste. Over here, the car does come with, and Don had just purchased these in his ownership, I believe, relatively new side curtains. And of course they fit the car and we have photographs of it. And a relatively new soft top with a clear plastic window and it fits the car beautifully. We have this wonderful little pack, a little uh, package to put the side curtains in. Wonderful, uh, I'll call this British plaid that goes in there. We have the original hand crank with it, two books, and then we have the original Brooklyn steering wheel. It is not perfect. It's in older condition with a couple little cracks. But if you like that look, that of course comes with the car. Coming along this side of the car, again, the wings and everything are gorgeous. Very nice, original patina style condition. Back to the interior of the car. Of course, the windshield is excellent, the chrome trim and everything. The doors are nice and solid. The hinge points are nice. And even looking at this, the detail of how this is with the stitching, I believe this is all original Morgan from 1959. We have the same leather on the top of the door here. Coming along to the front of the car, of course, we have the leather strap across the bonnet. So there was a lot of discussion in the earlier auction as to the originality of the car. So what we know for sure, it's a numbers matching car. It does have the correct frame stamping under the passenger seat, and we have a photograph of that. I believe very strongly the entire interior is original. Uh, and we know that it's been totally rebuilt. The engine is fresh and new, done by race prep people. But we believe it's a stock motor. I don't think there are any changes done to the motor. So if you're looking for that car that is in that middle ground of being a, a very lovely, very original, very drivable car, please consider our car. And uh, he also installed a typical of Don, an electric cooling fan on the front, electric radiator fan that pushes through the radiator to keep it cool. Um, the car is wonderful to drive. Typical Morgan, very flat. Very nice performance out of the TR3 motor. So please ask us any questions and uh, see if we can shove this under a Christmas tree somewhere. Thanks for looking at our car.